there are primaries today in New Hampshire, Rhode Island, and Delaware. The um, most important one, I think, for progressives is um, uh, Siegel. What's uh, his first name again? I can't David Siegel in David Rhode Siegel Island. David Siegel in Rhode Island. He um, uh, had worked with Aaron Schwartz on uh, Demand Progress, I think it was. Um, very strong progressive. Hopefully, we tried to book him, uh, but yeah. we couldn't get in touch with him. Uh, could be a very uh, good progressive candidate who gets into Congress. I think there are two seats in Rhode Island, and I'm pretty sure that this one is going to go Democrat. I mean, the Democrat who wins the the, the person who wins the primary is going to win. This yeah, and it's an open seat, so he yeah, he's running to replace Jim Langevin in in Rhode Island. Uh, there is another primary in New Hampshire where I think Democrats are hoping that uh, one of the lunatics running for the uh, Senate primary wins. Um, here is New Hampshire candidate, Senate candidate, Don Bolduck. How, what is Bolduck's, what was the polling looking like at Bolduck? I think, I, let me just double check, because I think I, it's, it's between him and Kevin Smith, if I'm not mistaken. It's, I think they're trying to signal boost uh, Bolduck, the Democrats. But uh. And you will find out why they are trying to <laughs> signal boost um, Don Bolduck running in the Republican uh, primary. Um, here he is from a debate hosted um, back in August of uh, 2022, about a month ago. You get a sense of, uh, of why Democrats might want to face this guy in the general election. Yes, I would support you, Bill. And, and I do trust you. I trust you to elect the right representatives to our state house and the right government so that they can make the right decision on what senator to send down to Washington, D.C. to work for you and not Washington, D.C. The genie's not out of the bottle. You can stuff that genie's head right back. So something happened, he says, uh, to our uh, electoral system when the 17th Amendment uh, came in. I think he's talking about the 17th Amendment to the Constitution. Here, let me just look that up. Um, let's see. <laughs> 17th Amendment hmm. uh, to the Constitution. Uh, let's see. That um, it was passed by Congress uh, in 1912. So this has been an ongoing problem, according to uh, Don Bolduck, uh -huh. uh, for over 110 years. Uh, it was ratified in, in 1913, so really, I guess, 109 years. It modified Article 1, Section 3 of the Constitution. Uh, I can't recall what that said, but uh, apparently it allowed voters to cast direct votes for U.S. Senators Prior to uh, that, the um, state Senate <laughs> would simply choose who they wanted to be state Senate because that was a lot less corrupt. See, the problem, I think, what the uh, candidate uh, or hopefully might be the candidate uh, for uh, New Hampshire, uh, uh, Bolduck is favored, incidentally, to win this primary. Mm. Um, he had 33% of uh, poll respondents versus uh, Senator Chuck Morse's 23%. That was as of uh, September 8th. The problem is when you allow for this like broad democracy where you let the citizens vote directly for their senators, you get really bad senators because people are bad at choosing them. We need to go back to a thing where the state senators why don't we just go back and restrict suffrage to property owners while we're at it? I mean, I would imagine Bulldog wouldn't have a problem with that either. No. Yeah. It's wild that people like him exist these days. Yeah. Like, but the problem I mean, with the Senate is that it is too connected to the will of the people, apparently. Like, I, I mean, that's insane. I guess it's easier for me to believe, like, understand somebody who, like, that, like, racists exist and want to go back to segregation than somebody who thinks, like, Oh, yes, the peasants have gotten way too big for their britches. We need to go back to 
legislature's picking senators again. But you know why he's Wild. saying this, right? Is because the, like he's trying to claim, I would guess, that voter fraud is what is leading to corruption and that it's all of these, you know, illegal ballots that are coming in. I don't know if that's the case, but otherwise it makes absolutely no sense. Uh, he's saying, well, I mean, he is a retired uh, brigadier general. So the idea of like people choosing their leaders, he doesn't feel comfortable with. Yeah. And he believes that they keep we keep getting career politicians uh, because of it. Lafayette. So he just kind of prefer some sort of like, I don't know, militaristic rule. Chain of command. Where, yeah. Yeah. A little bit more, a little bit less democracy. Um, democracy equals corruption. Where have we heard that before? <laughs> how uh, Boldick is like uh, 60 years old, I think. If he gets elected, how many years do you think? Like, do you think he's just going to do one term and then bow out? Or do you think he'll be there until he's like in his deep into his 80s? I mean, of course, give me a break. Maggie Hassan has got to be licking her chops at this <laughs> this opportunity. Um, I wouldn't be surprised if they didn't put some money in behind him, uh, the Democrats at one point. Well, the DCCC did it. I don't know about the, the Senate um, I, apparatus. I think, I think but Schumer did do a little bit of that. And I'm not exactly sure where, but I think he did it there. And naturally, of course, Baldick is an election denier. So, hey, um, I would not be shocked if that's part of his reasoning. Yep.